everyone, Cara Gripsko. I'm at Supercomputing 2009 in Portland, Oregon. We are currently in the Kaus booth and we're going to be discussing virtual reality collaboration with Jurgen Schultz at CalIT2 in San Diego. Hello, this is Jurgen. I'm in San Diego and I'm going to show you in Portland now what the, the building looks like that I'm in. I have a 3D model of it and when you look over to your right, you'll be able to see me as I'm standing here and I'm waving at you. So um, what I want to do now is take you on a little tour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the two virtual environments up so that you see what I see. And I'm going to take you to the auditorium in the Cal IT2 building, Atkinson Hall at San Diego, uh, at the University of San Diego, UCSD. I'm going into the auditorium now and I'm looking at the 200 seats in this auditorium and I'm going to the center of the room and looking at the big screen that we control 4K animations on. So this system allows us to link up two virtual environments with both video, which is the life size through the life size system that we're using and audio, which also goes through the life size. And at the same time, we're linking these virtual environments so that we can see the 3D model that each of us is looking at and that we're sharing in this collaborative session. The advantage of that is that in the 3D environment, we can take advantage of the 3D virtual reality, stereo, and high resolution features of the display environments we're using, the next cave in Portland and the star cave in San Diego. And at the same time, we can talk to each other and we can show each other what we want to point out in these environments. And these data sets could be either, obviously, architectural data sets like we're looking at, or it can be anything else, any other 3D data sets that we might have and that we can load at both ends. And they get synced by the uh, events that we're putting in the system, like the joystick I'm holding here and the uh, head tracker. They synchronize the two environments together so that both can see the same thing at the same time. So we get extremely high resolution, um, or whichever resolution the data set has and that uh, can be displayed on these environments over a very simple network connection. This one happens to be on the faster end, but it doesn't have to be. It can be a regular internet connection as well, and it would still be possible to do this at the same rate as we can do it now. With the faster internet rates, the advantages are that we can stream data sets at the same time as we do these walkthroughs, so we could share real-time data in addition to the static data that we're walking through. Um, but for static data set walkthroughs and, and collaboration, this, is, this works really well.